huge. Oh, that's nice trout, dude. Nice trout. Oh my God, that's a nice trout. Nice trout. All right, boys, we are back. Me and Dan, so. Dan, Dan the Bapti. We are riding out. Gonna go do another waiting video for you boys. Um, I have no zeal this morning. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. So you're gonna our, have to... Our plan was to go at 7.15. Malus, what time is it? It's 10.06. I'm gonna be... So, yeah, I'm just gonna be... a few hours late. Just a couple hours, but hey, kooks get tight, so you gotta act, you gotta act like a kook. Shout out all the kooks. Shout out to all the googs out there. You gotta act like a goog, and then you might get on a hot, a hot trout bite, but you know the deal. We got Dan's little rod piece there. Very, I've never seen this before. On the front, on the front of the Moz. You gotta do what you gotta do. She's pimped out here. But um, we're gonna go ahead once we get to the spot. Throw the waders on. Um, I'm gonna do a hat mount today instead of the chest mount. I'm gonna switch it up for you boys. I'm gonna keep it saucy. See you guys around the water. All right, boys. Getting on our grizzly here. You know that you already know the deal. A little popping cork action. A little live scrimps. Get out there. Oh, please don't have a hole in the waders. Please. Please. Oh, I think we're chilling. Yeah. It's going to be a slow wade game today. What I mean when I say slow like that, boys, is... And the water's super cold. Sure. Yeah. Lethargic. Yeah, the fish don't really move as much as they do when it's warm, you know. You gotta fish that's why that's why shrimp still lights out this time of year, but you gotta fish a lot slower than you typically would. You get freaking kayakers everywhere. No, these shrimp are raggedy. That's the deal. Y'all already know the deal. A little live shrimp action. You guys always lay up on my, on that Zach Dombrowski um, <clears throat> custom rod, but shout out to the boy John Willie, he broke it. So. It's getting repaired right now, you know me. Wow, big throws. That didn't sound. Sounded very. Right sounded very less than ideal. Ask. Got to fish very slow today, boys. That's all it is. You know what might lay up? I'm feeling very redfish esque today. Let me just put that out there. Let me just throw it out there. This tide is perfect. Got him on. Very trout esque. You got bit off? This feels very trout esque. Oh, yeah. You want to keep him? Yeah, might as well. Not a bad one. See if he's a keeper. Uh, I don't think he is. Oh, he's coming. He's coming off. Oh, definitely going to lose this one here, boys. Hooked by a hair. Oh my god. What an aggressive one. Oh yeah. First trout piece of the day for me. I want to grab some for uh, Mr. Runnels, so. though. Wow. But if you don't want to eat them, I don't even know what the limit is anymore. It's 15. He's 15. Zero. Yeah, he's 15. You know how to use this, right? Sure would hope so. First keeper trout piece of the day, boys. It's like my second cast. You know me. Put her on the old stringer here. Oh, oh. It feels like little stuff. All right. Got that one Stick it through the gill piece. 
Put her on the hanger. Here. Feeling like I'm gonna get very bull shark esque today, boys. You know me. If that's a trout. Oh, I was gonna say, one of the more aggressive trout I've ever seen. He's a wannabe pompano. Watch out, let me grab some testament. Wow, the wow, these are nice pildreds. No, cup like the school that was just upon me yonder was nice. You seen them? You saw oh. Did you get worked? Jack ask. Very Jack ask. Very redfish ask. Very uh what's the bird? Yeah. Very what's the verdict desk. And you guys always comment some Tom Fuller about you don't know the language. Well I am the language. Yeah, you're gonna have to just you're gonna just have to watch watch the videos and try and comprehend it. If you can't, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna change my ways out here. My chat's really on a move. Come on. Wow. Come on, we have a pond in here. Wow. That's disappointing. I don't know what the deal is with that. Two cork noises. Now they're really confused. Very nibble-esque here. Tom's laying with it. See that? Oh my god! Last time that was happening, and they were trout. I think they're just lackadaisical because of the cold water. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice trout, dude. Nice trout. Oh my god, that's a nice trout. Nice trout. Drag. Yeah. Very sus on a trout pull. No, it's a it's a trout, bro. I promise you. Oh my god, that's a nice one. Trout or a redfish? Redfish. No, that's it's a, a trout. trout. Nice trout, dude. Come on, don't come on. Got him hooked pretty good. Grab him. Oh, Grab him, Dan. Oh, we're so losing this fish. Oh, it's I got the measuring stick. What's the limit on them? It's like 50 minutes. God, why are trout so hard to grab? Oh, got him. No, I hooked this one really good. Dude, he laid into it on the double pop, bro. Wow. Look at that one. Yeah, here's the... Uh... He's, he's a key... Dude, he's bigger than the other one. Yeah, but I think they gotta, they gotta be under 20. No. No, you can keep one over. Yeah. Well, see how, see how big he is. You know me, Dan. I'm interested to set my scale for this season. I really gotta get on this trout game again. You really do. He's like 18 inches. Nice. Oh, God, I just soaked my reel. Good thing it's all fresh water in here. He was to the right, I'm telling you. I didn't get any bites because we moved. Let's go back to the right a little bit. Here, can you hold my rod while I put this on? Yeah. I grabbed that thing. Here. Cause baby there ain't no So he's got this little little weight piece rig here. Yeah, I hooked that that was a nice hook set on that trout. You don't see it every day though. That's the problem with trout fishing. Lose so many at the his house. Little two two rig piece here. I do, I don't even know. The, the regulations they did with the trout so screwed up. 
well. Skosh. Put this rig piece back away so Dan can miss a trout. How's oh, it? Oh my gosh, right there. That was a trout. No way. Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. Oh, I see the I see the wake piece. Put your put your shrimp back yonder. What's the deal? Hold on, let's stand right here. No way. How big was he? Probably a keeper. He wasn't like nice. He's either a trout or a ladyfish, but it looks like a trout. Let's see if we can get him to eat. Watch us, dude. How... A very trout has to eat it right at the house. Very. Oh, did you just get bit? I saw your bobber go down, bro. All right. We might be in a little trout, trout tear piece here, boys. He really, la he laid up upon the double pop, dude. Yeah, it's a weird, like, usually the trout bite's pretty hard, but... They're really softly eating it right now. Yeah. Just because it's so cold, they're so... Yeah, it must be the... It's, it's got to be the salinity or the cold water. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I thought a shark just ate me. <laughs> Dan just got up on my... Hold on, don't you? My piece piece here. That was very scary-esque. Do you imagine it ends up beating? It's like a 25-inch trout. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's my trout. That scared the crap out of me. He just came to the surfonius. I'm like, that. Like that. Had to be all trout bites. We just, I didn't oh. get any of our bites. That feels like a jack piece. Ah! Oh, it's still trout, is it? Oh, yeah, you know me. I'm on a little tear right now, Dan. Wow. He's too small. It's a pretty one though. Oh. What a what a beautiful fish that is. Unreal. Oh! Too much slack in the line. Did you get smoked? Yeah. Here, don't. Oh! Oh! Damn! What's the? the worst fisherman that exists. What is? So I've noticed. You kind of just have to, to, hey, you know what? Shout out to Ryan Dunham. This is for you. <laughs> I'm Literally going back. You're gonna get smoked the minute it gets out there. Going back out with the head. Double smoke. Going back out with the headpiece. See if a layup in. They really lay up into the headpiece, boys. I don't know what it is, but it is all over it. Here, let's stand still for a sec. Yeah. Oh. Oh my, oh my God. God, they're chewing. They're chewing. <laughs> Dan, I'm just putting on a clinic over here, dude. The Wade Master. What is this, a lady piece? Is this a lady piece? Oh no, just a micro trout piece. A micro trout? We're in a tear. I ate half my, my scrimp and then rolled out. Eat. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. Just slinging it out there. One pop. Watch this, I might get bit. So, <clears throat> when you're trout fishing like this, you got all this open water, okay? Once you catch one trout, you kind of want to stay in that area because they, they travel in schools, you know, just like any other fish. And catch, cut that one nice one, you've caught like three others. Dan's getting bites, I'm getting bites. Hey, what did I say about kooks get tight? How to, how to come out here on a late start? Just had to. Really, really had to. Oh! Oh, that was a bite. Your drags. Oh, got, got him on. Got him on. Trout? Yeah. Looks more like a jack. Yeah. Wow. It felt like the first fish, I think, may have been a trout, but it was bigger, definitely. This last blue really had me fooled there. I'm gonna have to get back out there. Fishing on no credit out here. Honestly, you, I could have fished that jack on the bottom. You really could have. Wow. For a nice trout. I'm gonna go in with the mega rig piece here. This is my, uh, you guys always ask about this genre. This is my 3000 sustain. You got 20 pound, uh, it's called ultra cast now. Used to be spider wire. Um, and I usually have my 7, 6, 10 to 20 pound rain shadow, but that genre snap. So while we're on hold, it's a seven foot, 10 to 20 pound Seagus star rod. 
she's getting the job done. Really, the seven six is ideal here. Got that extra tip, sling it a lot further. Um, making it happen though. Trail back there, hanging out on the rig piece. Oh, oh yeah. That's a nice, really nice trout. Oh yeah, Dan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's a nice fish. Got some weight to it? Yeah, moving a lot of it too. Oh my God. Don't be a jack. Oh, nice trout. Beauty. He choked it too. Oh, double up, boys. Double up. Stay, oh, another nice trout. Stay in the vicinity. Stay in the vicinity. Oh, what a yumbo. What a yumbo. Is yours nice too? Is he a keeper? Oh yeah. God, if we could land both of them, that'd just be more than ideal. <laughs> you really got to play your cards right here. Scoosh. You know me. Yo, Dan's lying up too. That's what I'm saying, boys. I told you, boys, you gotta stay in the same vicinity where they are. Why do their heads look like redfish-esque? Because oh, they're fully grown. Yeah. Here. I love to see all that beautiness there. Really do. All right, we're gonna put these on the, what is that, four now? What are we allowed? I think it's four now. Really? Yeah. Do you have your phone on you? I do. I'll, check, I'll you check can look it, it up, yeah. He's grunting at me. Man, the, he smoked it. Yeah, mine did too. That was a more aggressive bite. Yeah, that was... Not that was, all day. I knew we were going to get him on a little late start. Here. We might have to throw that little one back. Yeah. A 15 incher and try and get another nice piece piece here. Can you unhook mine? Oh, 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 oh. Cheer, cheer. Man, I'm getting some hook sets of the century, Dan. Wow. I even got good service out of here. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Oh. Just went for a piece of my waders. What's, what's Dan? I just don't know what the deal is right now. Oh. Very got you tied up, ask. Very much. Dude, they're really biting at my waders. Here, I need you to hold a rod. No less than 15, no more than 19. You may not possess more than one over 19. Three per harvester per day. Five per harvester per day. Are we, what zone are we? I don't know, but look at this genery. Yeah. Love to see that, boys. We, we're either, the, I'm guessing we're the south zone. But we could be the central east zone. We're the central east zone, that's our limit. So I might say we just call it there. Yeah, honestly. It's plenty of fish. Yeah. And we're not really out here trying to obviously like catch a bunch of trout and eat them. It's more fun than anything, you know? Yeah, especially when we're catching that stuff. Yeah. We Water. gotta get back out there though. Yeah, I know. Oh, dude, I didn't even pop it. I didn't even pop it, bro. They're so hot. Oh my God. J Dan, what is the, oh my God. What is the verdict, boys? Doubled up again. Back to back cast. Four trout in a row. Yours is a nice one. You hooked him so close, doesn't know what the deal is. Another two keeper piece there. It's you, man. Stop splashing me, please, would you? Well, mine's a spot. Yeah, so is mine, dude. No, actually, I have some spots. Oh, 
Just splash hey, quit splashing water into my waders. I got an the GoPro just died, boys. I have an absolute stud on right here. It's not a jack either. I think it's a huge trout. Is it a big trout or a redfish? If it's a trout, it's a 25 incher. Like seriously, bro. This is a really good fish. Man, he's heavy. But it's a huge pompano. It's a huge. Oh my god! Dan! <laughs> Dan's got a pompano. Look at the size of this pompano. My GoPro on and off dying here. I just caught this stud pompano. Dan, Dan just caught a giant trout. Dude, this bite is unreal right now. Look at this. Look at it. I almost said it too. He came on top. It's like, look very pompano esque. All right, put him on the. Sh Got our beautiful uh, trout piece there. And a beautiful pomperangus. Go ahead and spray these chomperies off. Hey, shout out to uh, Florida Filet Table for making this filet table for us. You know that. Come on now, I know you. Alright, say so we're gonna cook them whole. Honestly, I don't feel like doing that. Do you want so. me to film for you? What's up? Do you want me to film for you while you're doing it? No, I'm filming myself. Oh, where's the dawn so funny? The dawn? Yeah. Kind of here. Oh, it's in the car wash thing in one of the drawers. Oh, she's so cute. Isn't she? Yeah. Alright, you guys have seen me play a million fish. I mean, flying fish is pretty straightforward. You literally, like, make an outline of the fish. It's really not that hard. You just got it. You guys all act like there's some, there's nothing behind it. Just, it's just practice, just like everything else. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And if you don't do it a lot, you're going to suck at it. That's how I like it. Look at this. Pretty out of petite pompanoes. Like, don't get me wrong, like, pompanoes are good to eat, but... It's definitely overrated. It's good, I like it, but um, people freak out about pompano. Now, I have a pompano problem just because catching them is like the sickest thing ever. Made. Look, just look at that thing. It's a glorified jack. That's all it is out here, though. I'm gonna cut. Alright. Just like that. Beautiful piece of meat there. It's just just yellow it's like a slight offset of a white it's like yellow and that's fat and oil man that's why this fish mm, it's so good it's got such unique flavor for i'm telling you if you've never cooked pompano before do me a favor catch pompano and, and by the way we leave the skin on i'm gonna cut the pin bones out and show you guys but we leave the skin on it's gonna have so much flavor and so does the meat just light salt light pepper that's what we're gonna do tonight i'm telling you guys it, it has its own flavor it's honestly ridiculous Go ahead and cut the pin bone putts out here. Or a little rib cage piece. And then the pin bones. And um if you guys are wondering about this lights out knife, this is my six inch dexter knife. It's a little bit of a stiffer blade, but I love a small knife. Um I'm, I just I, I feel like I can move maneuver better with a smaller knife. If you guys want to purchase any dexter knife or this dexter knife for that matter. Use code ADAM20 during checkout, DexterOutdoors.com. Save 20% off on all your orders. And uh, that boy Victor's got a little sale, I think, too. Yeah, I think he's got 30% off. I'm going to throw myself under the bus here. Victor's got a better sale than me right now. Now I'll show you guys one side of this beautiful trout. I mean, dude, that was one of the best trout bites I seriously have ever gotten on. But, like, a little local bite like that, that was sick. So, trout's like a skinny fish, so you can just... Try and get the knife going. Okay. You could just glide right through this tomfoolery. The reason that I was struggling so hard, okay. beautiful filet. You guys have seen a million fillets of trout. The reason I was struggling so hard there. Trout have this, this is like their stomach line, I think. It is like, go. Look at that. It is literally like a piece of I'm just kidding but it, it's like gum dude it's the weirdest texture I, I don't know what it is some 
gonorrhea in their stomach, dude. That's when you when you're flying, you get stuck on it. It's really hard to cut through. But I'm gonna quit blabbing along. Uh, I'm gonna flay up the rest of this fish, and we'll see you guys in the kitchen when we're whipping it up. Alrighty guys, um, I know I said I was going to do a trout versus pompano catch can cook. Let me look at the lens for this video, but uh, weather's been good. I've been fishing every single day trying to grind out trying to grind out videos for you guys. I just vermilion fished all day. We crushed them. I just got done working out with Joey. I'm exhausted. My mom's exhausted. We're all exhausted out here on the cut. Anyways, Mama Malouse whipped up some sustenance tonight. She cooked the pompano piece, but they already had the trout. Look how and it's marks in the back, sorry about that noise. I go. Wait, turn not pulling the mic. Look how delicioso that looks. Looks like that. Anyways, sorry we couldn't show you the cooking portion of this video. She did some white wine, paprika, some other stuff. I don't really know. I'm just gonna dig in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we cooked with the skin on too. And what you can you see is Skin peels off perfectly. Or the meat peels off from the skin. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm exhausted. Mm-hmm. Love pompano. Wow. Some mashed potatoes, you know the deal. Couple nice carrots for the boys here. Hmm. This is lights out, Mom. And pompano piece. Oh. All right, I'm about to actually smoke this meal. Holy crap, that's good. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching this video. I'm sorry, like like I said again, I'm sorry we didn't get to show you the uh, actual cooking portion. It's been busy. Um, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, um, it means so much to me. Please go ahead and subscribe. Let me know you subscribed. Let me know if you guys have bought a hat. If you haven't already bought a hat, check out our merch. We got hoodies dropping. We got beanies dropping. Moving weights going, baby. We're going places. Let's just leave it at that. Until next video, moving weights out.